This is the man we have to thank for our knowledge of forces, Sir Isaac Newton. He wasn't the most popular man of his time, but he was unquestionably a genius. Newton spent a lot of time thinking about the way things moved. Eventually, he came up with three laws of motion, which we now call Newton's laws. We are going to have a look at these laws and see why they're so useful. The first law is all about how things move in the first place. It says that an object at rest, one that isn't moving at all, will stay still until an external force influences it. By an external force, I mean a net force that isn't zero. In other words, you need a force to get something moving. Logical, isn't it? For instance, a car like this nice Bugatti will stay still until its engine starts it up. The engine provides a force that we call thrust. This force pushes the whole car forward and causes it to accelerate. Of course, other forces can bring it to a smashing stop. Newton's first law also says something about things that are already moving. If an object is going along at a constant speed, it will stay at that speed until an external force acts. Take a look at this truck. It's driving at a steady speed of 100 kilometers per hour. That's about 28 meters per second. But there is a force pushing back on the truck which will slow it down. That force is air resistance, which is very significant to large vehicles. Basically, if there's an unbalanced force acting on an object, it must be accelerating and not staying still. This leads us neatly into the second law, which is how we calculate the size of a force. Newton came up with a simple equation, which says that force is equal to an object's mass multiplied by its acceleration. We write this as F equals MA. This equation is brilliant because it allows us to look at any accelerating object and find the force that is pushing or pulling on it. Here's a rocket powered shopping trolley. It has a mass of 10 kilograms and it can accelerate at 5 meters per second squared. Also good for carrying ice cream. Using the formula F equals MA, we can find the thrust force from the trolley's rocket engine. It comes out as 10 times 5 or 50 newtons. Wasn't that easy. Finally, we get to Newton's third law. This one says that forces always come in pairs. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. When you knock on a door, you feel a force back on your hand. That's because, while you apply a force to the door, it also applies an equal force on your hand in the opposite direction. When you hit a piece of rock with a hammer, the rock hits back. But how? If I whack a block of rock with 100 newtons of force, that 100 newtons is balanced by an equal reaction force. It's as if the rock whacks back with 100 newtons in the opposite direction, in this case upward. Forces always come in pairs. Time for a recap. The first law says that an object at rest, or moving at constant speed, will stay that way unless an external force is applied. The second law says that force is equal to an object's mass times acceleration. The third law says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. These are Newton's laws of motion, and they revolutionized our understanding of the physical world. Now it's your turn to follow Newton's footsteps. The following exercises will build and test your knowledge of these concepts. Good luck, and thanks for watching.